Hello guys, are you wondering if it is possible to use local DynamoDB on PC for running unit test cases using setup and teardown approach? Then here is a quick guide, both for Eclipse IDE and from command prompt and a sample insert operation in Java. In Eclipse, just open help, Eclipse marketplace and search for AWS and click install. Since I have already installed it, so I'll just skip this step. You just need to accept the agreement as we don't have any other choices and keep everything default. Restart the Eclipse and after the installation is done, go to Windows Show View. If AWS is not present in the list, click Other and search for AWS Toolkit and click AWS Explorer. This will open up the AWS Explorer at the bottom. On the right hand corner, you can select the region from the drop down and can access and operate your AWS resources like EC2, S3, Lambda. For local DynamoDB, just select local, localhost. In the explorer, we can see that only Amazon DynamoDB. Right click and select start DynamoDB local. It will ask for which version to install, better to select the latest one. After installation is complete, click finish. It will run in console and operate on 8000 port. If you see error that port 8000 already in use, then just open command prompt, type this command and note the PID. Then just type tux skill slash PID the number slash F. It will stop the service which is using port 8000. Then start the local DynamoDB again. Also we can download the local DynamoDB from Amazon website. Links are given in the description below. Unzip the download file and run the jar file in command prompt using this command. In the explorer, we need to right click and create table. Specify the table name. It should be more than three characters hash key name which is the primary key, read and write capacity as 5 and click finish button. Next we will add dependency in pom.xml. The dependency that are given in AWS local DynamoDB website may not work because the artifact is not present in Maven. For this we can simply use Java SDK DynamoDB and update our pom.xml. After that we need to create a class. I have already written the code, I will quickly go through the code. In AWS DynamoDB Client Builder, we need to pass localhost URL and the region in endpoint configuration. Rest all are normal DynamoDB insert snippet where we pass table name and object with primary key. In Explorer, we can right click the table and open query editor and we can see the data has been inserted. This is how we set up and use local DynamoDB. For more AWS related videos, check out www.youtube.com slash codespace. That's all for this video, you are watching Codespace tutorial and I am Gaurav, follow me on Facebook on this URL and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell icon and get notified for upcoming video tutorials. Thanks for watching this video.